Crazy Ex-Girlfriend was a show which aired on the CW from 2015 to 2016. It was made by Rachel Bloom and Alice McKenna, starring Rachel Bloom herself as the main protagonist, a young woman called Rebecca Bunch who moved from a lucrative law firm in New York to West Covina, California, a small unknown suburb for Josh, her high school sweetheart that she dated over 10 years ago. Now that you're all caught up with the show, let's see what made the show so special. Even from the very first episode, from the gleeful opening song, you can see that the show has fantastic music. Many of them are directed and written by Rachel Bloom or Rebecca herself, along with Jack Dolan and Adam. Each song is usually accompanied by beautiful and often emotional all hilarious visuals which make the entire experience way more enjoyable. My favorite songs are Settle For Me by Josh, The Math of Love Triangles by Rebecca, Remember That We Suffered by Rebecca's Mom and You Stupid Bitch by Rebecca. These songs are able to convey everything from gut-wrenching guilt and sadness to singing about UTIs. It really shows all of the emotions that these songs can evoke from you. How the musicals worked with Rebecca's BPD and her love for theater was also an extremely good touch. Every character in Crazy's Girlfriend is incredibly unique. While it would have been way easier to just write a stereotypical best friend who is only there to help the protagonist, a weird boss who you only see at work, or a controlling mother, the show doesn't go that route. Though they may start that way, they immediately shatter any notions you had yourself believe about them. This along with treating characters as actual people and by not only showing their growth but also their failures and relapses throughout the show makes each character feel incredibly real. Mental health is what I think the show does best, as the premise of the entire show is based on it. Initially, it might seem that Rebecca moving across the country was just a horrible one-time decision, but later we come to find out why she left all the trauma and the stress that she endured that led her to that decision. Josh was just a symbol of the freedom and happiness that she was lacking. She thought her life would be so much better if she could just recreate the happiest time in her life, during the summer they dated. From the accurate depictions of panic attacks, addictions, anxiety, depression, medication, therapy and even BPD have added to the show's greatness and gave a voice to any of the viewers watching going through any of it. The accurate representations may be credited to Rachel herself as she had struggled with anxiety and depression for years prior to making the show. Often, we imagine ourselves in places or with people and create this fantasy in our heads that all of our problems and worries will be fixed and we'll stay happy forever and finally have our happily ever after. But the truth is that it is just that, a fantasy. This is shown very well with Rebecca. She imagined that being with Josh and being away from New York and California will solve her problems but it didn't. This was also woven into the finale. She came to West Covina to find love, and she did. She made so many wonderful friends and met so many wonderful people, all of which love her dearly. She found her true passion and self-love. She understood that she can only be happy with someone else if she's happy with herself first. Even with all this said, this is just scratching the surface of this awesome show. It's awesome and wonderful and fantastic in so many other ways which I couldn't cover in just one video. I really hope you found a new show to put on your list if you haven't watched it and if you did, I really hope you think I did it justice. Thank you all so much for watching. This show isn't what I usually cover but it was really intriguing to me and I needed to share about it. Like and subscribe for more content from me and thank you all and see you all later. And look, I don't know if what I'm doing yet is any good but... All I know is that I can finally show the outside world what's been inside of me this whole time. All of it. All of the, the nuances and the gray areas. It's not just about the act of writing. It's about how when I'm doing that, when I'm telling my own story, for the first time in my life, I am truly happy. It's like I just met myself. Like I just met Rebecca. I came to this town to find love, and I did. I love every person in this room, each and every one of you. <laughs> and now, for the first time in my life, I can say that maybe I'm finally ready for the other kind of love. You know, the kind we talk about a lot more. But whoever it's with, it won't be ending up with someone. Because romantic love is not an ending. 
not for me or for anyone else here. It's just a, a part of your story. A part of who you are. 